to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to submit and get started with your Canvas app. So the first thing you wanna to do to complete this is a phone. I'm gonna do this on the phone. iPad is the same, if you have a tablet, it'll be the same. I'm gonna do it on my phone, so you're gonna have the mobile app. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a screen recording and I'll show you my phone. So one first thing if you're on an iPhone is open the Apple App Store and we're gonna go ahead and search for Canvas Student. Or if you have an Android device, you want to select on uh, the Google Play Store. So this is the one Canvas student. You want to make sure you're on the student app. So if you're a student, of course, if you're a teacher, it's going to be a different app. So I'm going to click on update. And for you to say get, so I'll just go ahead and let that update. As you can see, let's say it's installing right now. And now we can click on open. And then you want to go ahead and log into your school or your account. So the demo I'm going to show you first, which I recommend doing when you first start, is click on the setting gear on the right and select on show grades. Automatically, this is off. So it's gonna go ahead and say done. As you can see, to see your grade, you have to go individually into each class. If you just wanna see your grade on the home screen without having to go like, let's say my algebra one class, this class, you can click on the settings gear and click on show grade. As you can see, all my grades are there now. So the demo class I'm gonna be using is algebra two. This is a fake class. And then we're gonna click on, so the first thing is well, let's say submit assignments. So we're gonna go ahead and select on you can click on assignments to view all your assignments that are upcoming or on grades. It will either work. Either one will work. So what you want to keep in mind is what your teacher allows you to submit. There is a website URL, file uploads, annotations, website URL, I think I said that, and media recordings. So you want to look at this type of assignment. Some assignments don't even require a submission. That means you're turning in a physical paper. So let's say, for example, participation. There's no content and I can't submit anything. So it's 25 points, but I can't submit anything. It's just blank. So let's select on uh, homework one. So let's start with all the way. So as you can see, it says complete the assignment, submit here. My submission type is a file upload and it's due October 12th. So it's anything past that due date will mark it missing. So as you can see that's on the bottom, as you can see it has a blue button saying submit assignment. So let's click on submit. And as you can see, it says choose a file. You can access the camera. Uh, choose a picture from your photo library, a file, which is, uh, if you have an iPhone, it'll take you to the files app. or a scanner. So let's say you want to scan like a paper to make it look like a PDF, it'll scan it. So let's start with camera. As you can see, it says Canvas student would like to access the camera. If that's your first time using the app, then yes, you want to click on OK. As you can see, my camera is on now. So let's say I want to submit, uh, let's say this notebook. I want to click on picture of this. As you can see, now I can either retake the photo, let's say oh, that picture turned out bad or blurry, that's, oops, I didn't mean that, you can click on retake, I'll reopen you the way it was just right now, or use photo, let's see, that's a perfect assignment already, I like that picture, we're gonna click on use photo. As you can see, it's gonna show you how many megabytes or gigabytes it is, and as you can see, if you wanna add more, you can add more stuff, let's say you have a photo on your photo library, you can submit a picture from there, files, or a scanner, let's say, well, that's it, I just need that assignment. So on the right, as you can see, it says submit, we're gonna click on submit, as you can see, it's doing, it, you can see it's uploading. And you can see now it's just successfully submitted. So we can view our submission by clicking submission and rubric. We can scroll this down by just dragging this down. As you can see, it's loading up your submission. It just submitted it, so it's gonna take a little while. Let's try that again. <laughs> and here, the it says add a comment. So let's say you wanna add a comment to your teacher. Here is my work. Well, you probably don't wanna tell your teacher that if it's there, but you can add a comment. They can see, oops, now let me get rid of my comments. They can see our submission is there. So this is what our teacher would see. So that's the first way, which is a file upload. Now let's try, uh, where's my homework number two? Now this is a website URL. Let's say you're doing a project that you need a, like let's say if this, let's say this assignment was just talking to you about like, visit this website, uh, or you're gonna have to pick a website for your project. You can pick, uh, it's gonna ask you to submit a website URL. Of course, this will be different depending on what your teacher allows you to submit. So let's say I'm working on a project and I have to submit a URL. I'll submit my website URL for my website, but don't do that for your assignments. I'm gonna click on start assignment. And it says web uh, address. So you can see HTTPS colon slash slash. So that's a website. There's nothing else. Like I can't submit a file or anything. It has to be a website. So as you can see, let's do www.alexunboxing. Www Oops, box, oh, I'm sorry. That was right, alexunboxing.com. We're gonna click on done. It's gonna show a quick preview. As you can see, it says preview. We can click on that. No, so I guess not. So then once you're done, let's say that's our website, I'm done. Click on submit. See, 
successfully submitted, we can click on our submission. So it does take a quick little screenshot of the website you just submitted. So as you can see, we can click on submission and rubric. Is an external page. So as you can see, it's loading a quick screenshot of how the website looked. So if there was like ads, it'll show those ads in here. It's, trying to, it's kind of lagging because I just submitted it. And this is it. We can either click external or the link again, it'll take us to the main website. So let's try the next one, which is homework number three. This is a media recording. So for this, you can, let's say if you're in a music class, you wanna submit your audio, uh, record an audio of what you just played, or if you wanna submit a video. This allows for video and audio just rec uh, recording. So let's say you're playing a song, you wanna replay that song. Or as you can see, if you're work or let's say you're working on a project, this will allow you to record through here, or you can just, uh, so, so we wanna click on start assignment. And as you can see, we can just do an audio recording. So we can click this red button, so you can see now, as you can see, it's recording. So let's say demo, demo. This is our first uh, audio recording. Hit that stop button, and then you can preview it. So you can click on the play button. So you can see now, as you can see, it's recording. So let's say demo, demo. This is our first uh, audio recording. So let's say that's perfect. I want to submit that. Let's say that was me playing something. So we can click on send. It'll add it, and it's uploading the video or the file. So you can see, successfully submitted. As you can see in the bottom of every of these assignments I'm submitting, it says resubmit assignment. That means I can resubmit the assignment. Let's say, oops, I wasn't done yet. I just submitted that, but let's say I added an extra file on there. I wanna have something else, like a new upgraded version. Updated, sorry. We can click on resubmit. And now let's say I wanted to do a, a, a camera recording. So let's say I wanted to be in the camera. So let's say, hi, this is me working on my project. Just wanted to say hi. And then we can click on play to view it. Hi, this is me working on my project. Just wanted to say hi. Or you can either retake it, let's say something went wrong, or on use video. So if we click use video, it's gonna resubmit it. So now you're gonna have two submissions on your this assignment. So you can see, we have two of them. So as you can see, we click on submission and rubric. There's two files. I think you can click on only one, but your teacher would be able to view both. Now let's try the next one, which is four. This one is a student annotation. So this is if your teacher added a, a worksheet on Canvas that they want you to edit. So let's say it says underline the best words that you think are good in this paragraph. You would select those words. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and start the assignment. I don't know if, oh, I just, I just uploaded a test. As you can see, we have some tools up here. So let's say we wanted to add a text box saying another, let's just add test again, which of course not. Let's say we wanna uh, draw, can we draw? Yep, we can highlight that. We can add a strike through, or we can add or select, but of course that's not gonna work. So let's say we're done. This is my annotated document. Of course, it's, we would wanna submit this. We're gonna click on submit. Now we're submitted, so we can click our submission. As you can see, this is what we did. This is what we edited. So let's say, oops, I forgot to highlight one more thing. We can click on resubmit, and it'll open up our file again. I'm gonna click on cancel because I don't wanna do that. Now let's do five. File upload, I guess I did this twice. Sorry. So let's say again, let's say this is a, let's say uh, we want to do a scanner version. So let's say we have this notebook. We're going to put the document in view. As you can see, it's highlighting it. We took a picture. So now it makes it look like that was. So let's click on save. We just want one. So it makes it look like you scanned it in a printer, which makes cool. So let's say we're going to click submit. That's the other option. Of course, the library option is if you want to submit from your camera library, which is photos. So you can see successfully submitted. We'll be able to view our submission. It's gonna go ahead and uh, work right now. It's gonna load up our uh, submission. As you can see, their submission, which of course this is cool because it makes it look like you did it like on the computer. <laughs> so let's try the next one. Let's try six. So I made this six assignment, or this six assignment, as you can see, submission types. You wanna take a look on submission types. This assignment allows you to submit a text entry, website URL, media recording, or a file upload. So this is gonna be different when you click on start assignment. So this means you have all these options to do. So whatever works best for you, as you can see, the description says, choose the best option for you, then submit. So let's say I wanna submit a picture of this assignment, or this assignment, or this, or a video about this. You can pick, so we're gonna click on start assignment. As you can see, it opens up my options that I have. I have text entry, Website URL, media recording, and file upload. I'm gonna go ahead and do text entry because I didn't, uh, I didn't haven't done that demo. So I'm gonna click on text entry. So text entry just opens up a box for you to type. So let's say it's just write a quick paragraph about what you just learned today. So you can put, I'll just use some autocorrect. The first thing I noticed was that, and then I'll just write dot dot dot. So let's say that's what I learned today. I'm ready to submit. We're gonna click on submit. So you can see submit it. So we can click on our submission. So text entry is just like it opens up a box without the need of an assignment. So we're gonna click on, as you can see, that's what I submitted. <laughs> and of course you would continue and your teacher would view it. 
And now the last assignment is uh, untitled document. So what you want to look is this is a Google Drive assignment. You want to look at the symbol of each assignment. As you can see, it has, as you can see the Canvas normal assignments have that little pencil with that book, and the external tools have like a power outlet or power cable. So untitled document, that's the document I made. I'm going to click on that. As you can see, uh, submitting an external tool. So it means that you're not doing it from Canvas. You're submitting it, let's say Google Drive at a puzzle, and you would do it here. So we're going to launch external tool. It's not going to work on the phone. I recommend that if you do have an external tool, you do it on the computer because you can see it's not going to load it up. It's going to ask you to sign in. So for external tools, I prefer that you do it on the computer. It's easier to access and easier to work on. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics of submitting assignments on Canvas. Other features you can do on Canvas is on Calendar. You can see what's upcoming or on To Do on the bottom. As you can see, all your assignments that are upcoming. Calendar, as you can see, you have a little plus icon. You can click on plus and let's say a demo uh, event. You can add a personal event to you. So let's say I have this on Wednesday. I don't want to forget it. You can choose a course. Let's say it's for that course. Or if they don't apply to a course, it's just your personal event. Just don't do anything. And then let's say the date, which is today at 103. Let's say that's right. And then done. Done. As you can see, it's a personal, it's like a little note. So it's like, oh, don't forget, you have this. Uh, inbox, if you want to send messages to your teachers. Uh, notifications, as you can see, it shows all your assignments or your teacher notifications. And yeah, uh, here on Canvas, all you have is uh, discussion questions, other people in your class, class files, syllabus, and uh, Google Drive Office 365, other stuff there. And yeah, so either way, how I showed you this, you can access to submit through uh, assignments list or through grades, they will either work. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions or something went wrong, or you still have questions about uploading assignments, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.